We've got you back this noon with a new warning about a phone scam. This one has people calling asking you to support a charity for firefighters. They even hit up a local deputy fire chief. News 8's Ken Pierce went to West Haven to talk to the chief about how to tell if a charity is legit before you hand over your money. Some folks here in West Haven say they've been getting phone calls from somebody who says he's raising money for a firefighter's charity, but it turns out it's fake, it's just a scam, and these scammers had the bright idea of calling up a deputy fire chief and trying to get money out of him. I think they said it was the Firefighter and Paramedics Association asking for donations. Deputy Chief Scott Schwartz knew his department wasn't doing any fundraising, so he pressed for details about the association. I asked them exactly who that was, and uh, they actually told me, uh, well, we really, uh, and I asked them again, and they hung up on me. That's a good clue the charity is fake. There's a lot of this going around, apparently. Several local fire departments sent out notices warning folks not to fall for the scam. There are ways to tell if the call is legit. And one of the ways is to actually call the firehouse. Call your local firehouse, ask them if they know of any charities going on. Uh, local police departments have to be informed that they're actually doing fundraising in the areas. Your local firefighters are hardworking heroes, and nobody wants to discourage you from supporting them. You just need to make sure you're really supporting them. Usually the best way to uh, support your local fire department is to um, make a donation directly to uh, either the fire department itself or to the city in the fire department's name. A quick internet search shows there are stories from all over the country of somebody using this same charity's name trying to get money out of people. Don't fall for it. In West Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.